So we're gonna talk about Parabola that comes out of our vintage barrel program. It's near and dear to my heart. Uh, we've been making this beer since probably the late part of 2005 and definitely in the early part of 2006 because this was one of the first uh, of the components of our anniversary series of beers and we released that beer back in 2006. So let's get into it. All right, um, you know, when we first started brewing Parabola, uh, this, you know, back over 10 years ago, uh, 20 Play-Doh beers were extreme and we came out of the gates probably at somewhere between 25 and 26 Play-Doh, which was a big beer in those days. and. You know, every brewery that has a barrel aging program has an imperial stout, or just about every one that you look at. So in many ways, you know, this is the, the Cabernet of the portfolio. It's the, the big, bold beer. Uh, if you're blending like we are, it can be the lead component or it can be a little bit, has a huge impact on the blend. Um, but for me, it also, at least in the case of Parabola, picks up so much house character. And when I taste Imperial Stouts from all these different breweries, um, you do, you get to taste the yeast of the brewery. Um, you learn a little bit about how the barrels are treated, whether cold stored or warm stored. So, you know, Parabola uses our house ale yeast. You know, when I smell this beer, I can smell in the background the esters that the yeast produced. Um, you know, there's a little fresh apple, there's some juicy fruit gum back in there. But, you know, most uh, impactful in this beer is what the barrel brings. It brings all sorts of booze, basically. You know, you have all the beautiful bear, uh, bourbon barrel hit. Uh, you get the background of vanilla. And after these beers have been in barrel for at least six months and right around six, eight months, you start getting this background coconut. Um, some of the pastry uh, essence that the barrel gives, along with the char, um, and, and it's just so many complex and beautiful notes that can come from these barrels. Um, I don't think I've talked about the base malts for this, and obviously that plays big. There's a lot of multi character. This is now a 33 Play Doh original gravity beer with a lot of residual, beautiful caramel sugars in the finish. Um, you know, we use a couple different caramel malts. Uh, one of the key ingredients from the malt standpoint is roasted barley, which is roasted very uh, similarly akin to coffee. So it has you know, coffee notes, roasty notes, um, toasted bread notes. Mm. And what I love about these beers after they've been in barrel for a year like this one is that all the rough edges have been trimmed off. Um, yes, it's an aggressive big beer by beer standards, but you know, the sharp dark chocolate notes have been mellowed out into more milk chocolate notes. The sharp roast notes have become more of that kind of coffee house character. Um, just, they're just beautiful beers all around and uh, you know, best enjoyed in a small glass like this, a snifter, allow it to warm up a little bit as you're tasting it and yeah, and just enjoy the aromas and flavors and sip on it. It's a good fireside beer for sure.